The Vatican Library is one of the largest in the world. Now it's also one of the most modern. The library is taking a giant leap to the web. By using NASA technology, it's planning on scanning 80,000 of its manuscripts. We've had this idea for years, but now we've been able to narrow it down and make it concrete. We have the most advanced technology and also background experience from previous attempts. We have learned to avoid the same mistakes. The technology is called FITS, which stands for Flexible Image Transport System. It's very important to introduce all the information. It's inaccessible if one doesn't include all the precise data. That includes the signature of the manuscript and its placement on the page. One single manuscript and its contents requires an immense amount of work. One has to consider all the information that can be significant and interesting, like the copyist, the time it was written, and its conservation. The process was divided in three stages. The first one included scanning 8,000 of the 80,000 manuscripts. The second was the actual digitizing. And lastly, the program stored all the information in high resolution. Among those selected is the Bodmer Papyri. The priceless manuscript is the first known transcription of the gospel. Since most of the manuscripts are extremely delicate, they can only be partially opened to avoid damage. Once all the documents are digitalized, the manuscripts will occupy approximately 45 billion bytes. But that technology will be based in another building outside the Vatican's library. According to the prefect of the Vatican's Apostolic Library, Cesare Pazzini, the project is still a challenge. One of the main obstacles is funding. For a project of this size, very large funds are needed and economically speaking, it's not the best time. We are moving in discrete lines, which allows us to keep on going. Support has come from the University of Heidelberg in Germany and the Ansar Herbie Foundation in Italy, which funded the building's security system. Some universities interested in the project contacted us. They proposed covering the cost of digitizing some of our manuscripts in exchange for other interests. According to Pazzini, the first documents will be available online in less than a year. It will be a key moment where priceless documents will be readily available for the world to see. Rome Reports Gold Collection. The best images of John Paul II and Benedict XVI. the Catholic Church and the world in our 10 documentaries. Free membership to our Rome Reports Club. And enjoy our weekly program, The World Seen from the Vatican. Rome Reports Gold Collection, the best gift for Christmas.